it's Chrissy here from Big Brother. Now I can finally do my most requested video that I've had 20 bajillion 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 uh, requests about doing, which is how to hack the BB application process. So I'm just going to tell you what worked for me, what I noticed to stay away from, and basically what can really make you stand out. So for me, my process was a little bit different because I was doing it during COVID. <laughs> so I didn't have to do a group interview, but still I did notice a lot of things that made me stand out to the interviewer. Um, let me start off by saying Big Brother was the best freaking experience I've ever had. And if you're thinking about doing it, do it. Seriously, like no matter what type of person you are, if you're shy, if you're this, if you're that, try it, give it a hot shot because it will literally change the person you are so much. All right, so, okay, the actual application process, enough with the bull crap. Um, so, the first things first with the application process, I don't know, it might be a bit different to you guys, but I had to do a 60 question question and it was like, what would you do if people were to yell at you? How do you react when someone steals from you? Like super philosophical question, like Kanye West style. And, um, you know, you kind of answer that to the best you can and then you do the video. Now the video, is your money maker that's where it happens for you that's where you absolutely have to nail it so the first thing i did when it came to the video they don't tell you what to talk about you just talk about absolute garbage um, and just make sure that your personality shines through it as much as it can and basically uh, i jumped on youtube you know i did my little research as you do and i saw so many people publicizing their application videos Okay, let me start off by saying, when you put through your application, you get to the bottom, you, when you submit it, you sign a confidentiality agreement. Now that means nobody is meant to know you are applying for Big Brother. Now when you put your application video publicly on YouTube, you might as well have a megaphone on your street saying, I'm applying for Big Brother 2021. Obviously this was bloody great for me because I was like studying and seeing my competition and seeing like how I can really stand out from the rest. But when you are applying, please, for the love of God, do not put it on public because the interview is going to be like, holy hell, this person has already failed step one, right? They're going to throw you over the fence. They're going to be like, thanks, that makes our job easy. So something I noticed, please, please, please do not be these people. Some people, when they film the video, they go, uh, yeah, look, I'd, I want to apply for, uh, and literally, like, f forget what show they're applying for. Like, you're not applying for MasterChef. They're sitting there, like, effortless, and some people just go, yeah, so, look, you should really take me on for Big Brother because, um, yeah, look, I mean, I'm just really funny. I look like you actually don't hate your life and you want to be there to be entertaining and bubbly and fun because this is your make it or break it right it's this video is what gets you to the next step and this video will be with you throughout the process um and also i noticed a lot of people just going like it's it's like they were uh auditioning for home and away they were going i can be the biggest bitch if you steal my man or if you don't if you give me too much tuna to eat then i will be so hangry and my friends think i'm the funniest person you will ever meet and it's like your whole video you're not even funny you're not even saying like a joke or whatever you know like it's just practice what you're preaching so with my video Okay, forget about it. Before you ask, you're never seeing my application video. That's uh, that's way down memory lane. That's no one is seeing that. Not even my mum, right? But with my video, it's like, okay, I'm gonna tell them a story. Believe it or not, my story was about this one time I went to the supermarket. I told them about this one time, like I went down the aisle at Coles or whatever, and they were probably like, okay, this girl uh, is a train wreck, but we love it, you know, because it's so different. So it's something that makes you really stand out. And by the way, you're talking. The interviewer will already be able to see what personality you have and my second tip please please be yourself because you do not know what these interviewers want they need someone introverted they need someone who's a bloody mess they need someone who's a sociopath like they need a bloody oh sorry not sociopath i mean psychopath either or same thing different day so please just be yourself because these interviewers 
they last year they've interviewed 55,000 people for my uh, season, right? So these people are so trained to find the fake from the real and they can distinguish that in seconds. So if you pretend to be someone you're not, you could possibly be wrecking an opportunity for yourself because they might have needed someone who you really are. You know, they might have needed that quiet person. They might have needed that psycho, crazy, loud mouth. They need a bit of everything. And they put all of our psychos together in one house and they like the clash of personalities. Because if you have someone introverted and then you have someone who's like, oh, I hate you, no, then that's perfect for them. It means a crazy dynamic. Good TV. Another thing I realized that really helped me in my application, so when I was get, going through all these interviews, I kept getting asked like my opinion on a lot of things. I know I said be yourself, but what helped me is also to be opinionated. If that's the person you are, great, but try not to be a fence sitter. Try not to be like, like if they show you a, a toothpick, they're gonna be like, what do you think of this toothpick? Say, I freaking hate it. It's disgusting. It's so gross. Whereas opposed to like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind it. Eh, nah, bye. Be, have an opinion about everything. I hate it. I love it. That's disgusting. That makes me want to throw up. Yuck. Don't want to go near it. Because they want to see like character. Like it's, because it kind of makes, when you think about it, it kind of does make boring TV when you're a fan sitter and you don't really have an opinion about a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when you're applying, also I think a super important thing to remember is by making yourself stand out, try and find things that nobody else can resemble to. I'm talking like, have a sit down and think about three things that make you stand out from the rest. Like, okay, for example, for mine, I was a, I was a DJ, so I wrote that. And they're like, damn, okay, cool, a female DJ, that's different, right? And then I wrote that I moved here 10 years ago from a foreign country. And they were probably like, okay, that's different. Not everyone can resemble to that. So find what it is that makes you different. And that the person next door, bloody uh, Sally from across the road, uh, can't doesn't have the same story as you. So, yeah, I think this whole experience, like you guys, you need to know what you're signing up for because this is a bloody crazy experiment. Like, trust me, what I'm telling you, uh, you need to be prepared to be eating tuna and spinach and Greek yogurt and just salt and pepper and live with a bunch of psychos. You just need to be ready for that because that's what you're signing up for. And it's the most craziest experience of your life, but it is also the most life-changing experience of your life because it's changed me so much as a person. I was a bit of a nut job before I went in as well, but now it's more like I am way more loud and way more independent than when I was. And it really teaches you so many life skills that you're gonna take along the way. Honestly, even ask yourself why it is that you wanna go on there because that is one question that you're gonna get asked a lot. Why are you doing it? For me, okay, I know what you're thinking. No, it was not to get uh, a romance out of it. I didn't think I was gonna go and meet my hubby, even though I did have uh, a, a real life Tinder experiment in that house. Yeah, I've, I've been on three TV relationships in the span of <laughs> three weeks. But you know what? Time is money. What can I say? It got me to the end. That's all that matters. Um, another huge, huge factor. When you're filling out your form, be honest because that is what taking you through the entire application process. Don't come up with a story. Don't come up with a sad story. Or, like, Tell them your story for who you are because everyone's got something about themselves. So when they call you up, they're going to be asking you about what happened with this, what happened with that. If you're telling the truth, you don't need to have a good memory, let me tell you. So, you know, when you're talking to them, don't be nervous. Just have a bloody conversation. They're just another person. And just give them 99 reasons to say yes. Actually, screw that. Give them 100 reasons to say yes and no reason to say no. Seriously. And in the interview, when you, another pointer is in the interview, don't try be that really loud person. Don't try, I know there's a difference between being heard and being annoying, right? You don't wanna be like going over the top of everyone, going like, oh my God, I've just had 25 Red Bulls. No, just be in the discussion, get involved in the discussion. It's not their job to ask you to tell them a story. Be the first one to start talking about yourself and let them know that you're not, 
you know, afraid to be heard because you are going to be talking in front of a large, large crowd at the end of the day and they want to know how well you can really handle that. Hopefully this has helped anyone at all, but I was thinking this would be so much better than just having like a quick video on Instagram that's going to delete itself after 24 hours. You guys can actually go back to this every time and hopefully it helps literally even one person. Trust me, it took me two applications. I got, I got Big Brother in my second application. The first time I applied last year, I didn't even get past the questionnaire. I think I was a bit too outgoing with that. What got me through the next round is definitely just showcasing my real personality, you know, and just holding a good conversation with them and treating them like a person as opposed to an interviewer, you know what I'm saying? Thanks so much for watching and uh, hope this answers all your questions. It was probably a lot easier than responding to all uh, 20,000 of you. But anyway, I really hope this helped you guys. And yeah, anyway, stay tuned and keep in contact. Bye, guys.